Pensacola, Panama City to Pensacola with gale force winds. Hurricane Kate is something to reckon with. We take you back in time now to late last night and put it all into motion. You can watch the evolution of Kate through the eastern Gulf of Mexico, making that turn to the north that we expected. Hurricane Kate was moving west, then northwest, and now Hurricane Kate moving just about due north at only 5 to 10 miles per hour. There are a great many problems with any landfalling hurricane, and especially one as intense as Hurricane Kate. It maintained its intensity pretty well throughout the day, and even as we speak, you can't really see it on the satellite picture, but the eye of the hurricane is making landfall at a point uh, just uh, south of Panama City and uh, north of Apalachicola, sort of in between. Uh, not very much room there, but over old Mexico Beach, Port St. Joe, should, if not in the eye this minute, be in the eye very shortly. In the meantime, the hurricane warnings have been abbreviated. Or to Panhandle late this afternoon. Here's ABC's John Quinones. This is John Quinones. 80 mile an hour winds are now tearing through Apalachicola's main street. Coastal roads and highways are underwater, and weather officials say the worst of Hurricane Kate is yet to come. These waters are already five feet above normal. Later tonight, they're expected to rise another four to eight feet, crashing over most seawalls. This entire county of 10,000 residents is now under a mandatory evacuation order. Still, a few destroy the underwater nesting grounds for oysters and shrimp, a million-dollar industry here. There's going to be kids that don't have Christmas this year on the county. Still, few people are worried about Christmas. They're more concerned about the storm's fury tonight and the aftermath tomorrow. John Quinones. Somewhere now over the Florida Panhandle, up to the north of Apalachicola and to the east of Panama City. Notice a thicker cloud spreading through South Georgia, and we'll find th heavier rains moving in that area. Its location now is at about 30.3 north. Considerable amount of damage, and here's ABC's Rebecca Chase. The kiss from Kate was more of a smack to the Florida Panhandle. The hurricane ripped off rooftops, chewed up parts of the coastal highway, and toppled the old water tower in Apalachicola. 100 mile an hour winds knocked down trees and left some residents smarting from Kate's fury. And the next thing I knew, I, this piece of, um, looks like asphalt, came through the screen window and hit me in the stomach. It seems I might have a cracked rib. But for other residents returning home today, there was hurt of a different kind. Well, we lost everything we had, and we didn't have any insurance. A retired couple was heartbroken to find their house trailer soaked. It's home to us. I don't know what we'll do, but God will see us through it. Here in Port St. Joe and all along the coast, the people most affected by Kate are those who have made their lives and livelihood on the water. Mark Moore used to make his living here as a fisherman. We have nets. It's all gone. You can't find a net. There's a boat up here beside the highway. I guess y'all seen that. I don't know what we're going to do. John and Loretta Garner, who build boats and fish the bay, were washed and wiped out. We love the water.